With the help of some heavy machinery and a lot of maneuvering in the tall weeds on Big Turtle Lake near Bemidji, the process of containing the invasive algae known as starry stonewort has begun. Starry stonewort looks like a fine weed and resembles a small snowflake covered with tiny bulbils. The algae is known to exclude aquatic vegetation and create a serious nuisance for boaters. We're reducing any um, spread of the invasive by boats cutting it up mm -hmm. and we wanted to um, confine the boat traffic just right to the middle. These yellow buoys hold up a silk curtain that will surround the area where the tiny invasive algae is densely located. It surrounds approximately half an acre of the public boat landing, leaving an entry for boats to come and go freely from the dock. The area that is enclosed will begin the next process of suction dredging. While dredging does have its advantages, it's not 100% foolproof, meaning it won't totally eradicate the starry stonewort from Big Turtle Lake. Us doing this treatment here will um, be effective in preventing spread, um, but as far as completely eradicating it, we're, going, we're not, not going to make that claim. Once the dredging begins, a copper sulfate treatment of the sectioned area will take place. No long-term damage will come from the algicide. It's known to be very short-lived in the water and will allow the natural ecosystem to restore itself quickly, minus the starry stonewort. So we'll come back in with a copper treatment um, to uh, treat any of the fragments that may have broken off okay. during suction. While this is only the beginning of a long process, it's important to remember when boating on any lake to be proactive, remembering to clean, drain, and dispose every time you leave the lake. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News.